Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today I wanted to talk about Fallout 76. Again, in the bad news, sadly, because it seems that Fallout is getting lunch boxes that first appeared in Fallout Shelter, where you basically pay real money to open them to get more stuff. It's nothing more than a different name for a loot box. Same stuff, different name. But before we continue, just a quick word from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by Chrono GG. They host daily sales of video games working directly with the publishers. Only today we have an Amazing Civilization 6 Gold Edition featuring all the content from the game and all the expansions for only 35 bucks. Click the link down below and check it out. Now, to go back to the lunchboxes, a user by the name of uh, Jermaine, Jasmine, I, I really can't pronounce this, I'm sorry, but he made a Reddit post talking about Fallout 76 files that were data mined by another user called Despotak. In this post, we can see that there is an actual line of code saying lunchbox activator EDID changed from post ATX lunchbox. Now, the ATX tag means that it's attached to Bethesda Atom Shop and we know that everything connected to that is gonna be bad. Now, what do these things actually do? Well, by opening them in Fallout Shelter, you get different stuff from weapons, outfits, dwellers, resources and more. Basically everything. But the game itself is a mobile one and it's free to play and including this wasn't anything new. Majority of mobile games have microtransactions, but you see, for a game like Fallout 76, it's a whole nother story. Because one launch box in Fallout Shelter would cost you $1 or euro, while let's say 15 boxes goes for 10 dollars or euros. Now, when it comes to Fallout 76, I think they will go for a higher price, although they will offer different things. For example, we also see post ATX launch box explosion confetti balloon line in the code that could represent that launch boxes will be visible to all when you open them. Basically, all of the unboxings are going to be public. Something like this was also present in Call of Duty World War II, where basically once you open loot boxes, everyone can see what you got. And this can lead to people being jealous, and of course, what does that give you? It gives you more people buying these launch boxes to open them, so they could get something great. And especially if you do it publicly, you will make some people jealous, and of course, those people are going to go and buy them. We also see that loot boxes might give us XP bonus, carry capacity bonus, damage bonus and rad resistant bonus. I mean, this is crazy, it's not only that XP, rad resistance and carrying capacity are getting a bonus through the launch boxes, but also damage. I mean, I know it's uh, for PvE, but again, for a game that has PvP and PvE, and a game that was $60. Doing this is completely insane, and if this turns out to be true, I mean, geez, the greed of these people, is this really Bethesda, or is it just an empty shell of a Bethesda that we knew? One thing is also that stupid Atom Store, which is something we've had before, free for all, from others. On a modding website, everything on this Atom Store is something we've had for free, before, but Bethesda thought, hmm, let's see, why don't we include the same goddamn thing? Why don't we go and include some of those cosmetics in our Atom Store? And they basically take all of this modding idea and just free mods for everyone and they put a price tag on them. That is basically the Atom Store. Now, I do understand this is a multiplayer game, so you can't really have everyone just putting in mods and outfits as they want. You kind of have to regulate that, but at the same time, you could regulate that thing for free. I mean, still, those are cosmetics, but now you have XB bonuses, you have damage bonuses, you have rad resistant bonuses, you have carrying capacity bonuses. That's some bullshit. It also seems that perk cards were removed with ATX attached. A poster also said that this could mean they were supposed to be sold via Atom Store and that they might make a comeback. We shall see, but this is not looking good. 
and for the end of the post there are some details about how is this going to look like when you open it with jumping and confetti animation basically the same bullshit because why focus on fixing an already broken multiplayer game like who does that i mean the the performance you see on on the gameplay is a performance i get on my machine on a really good goddamn machine this is this is the fps i get in this game it's stupid and they won't they won't do anything about that he won't fix the game they won't uh, work on the uh, on the actual gameplay but they will put on these uh, lunch boxes because why not more money i mean why not focus on leeching more money from the consumers this is bethesda 2018 and also with the recent xp nerf having an xp boost would be great wouldn't it i mean i have to go through this game to record gameplay footage i really tried playing it i can't it's not the same fallout anymore there is no point in the game and also this performance is just i, I can't play the game with this it's just a lazy mix of repetitive Fallout 4 quests with nothing giving me any motivation to play. So, now including this, I mean, geez, I really feel sorry for the people who bought this at full price and got disappointed in the game because, geez, this is, I mean, this is crazy, like, to release a game like this and to now include lunchboxes in a full-fledged AAA and <laughs> AAA triple a priced title i mean this is below below everyone it's like when they said fallout 76 microtransactions are not paid to win in an interview on october 30th 2018 pete hines said this on gamespot that the game is going to have microtransactions but they are not going to be paid to win he actually said this I am now better playing against other players because I spent money. It's not pay to win and it's not loot crates. Yeah, right. It's almost when Todd Howard said Fallout 76 was always in their hearts. They were always in someone's heart, I mean his pocket, to earn more money. I really see no other reason for this to be out now and in this state if it was from the heart. If this game was truly from the heart, it wouldn't be bad, like this. I mean, this is just a lazy excuse of a game. So long story short, this is some bullshit, some hardcore bullshit, but I will be following this and how it develops, so subscribe to stay tuned for all the latest Fallout 76 crew-ups. I mean, trust me, if they do anything positive, I will cover it, because someone said that I'm only dissing Bethesda now, that I'm only covering negative things of Fallout 76, like... That is the, the current state of the game. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to deceive. This is how bad the game actually is. If you want someone to, to lie to you that this game is good, go and watch someone else who's lying to you. But this thing, and with uh, upcoming launch boxes, Jesus Christ, this thing is gonna be some... This thing is gonna be the biggest fail, I think, in Bethesda's history when it comes to the releases. I mean, it already is. And when I diss these companies, I said this multiple times, I am not dissing hardworking developers, I'm not dissing those people. What am I dissing is the management and the people running the company, because it's their decisions for all of this. Like, a developer is not deciding this. It's the people calling the shots who are running this and who are actively working against their own community. So this is everything I have for today, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more Fallout related videos, and follow me up on Twitter and Discord for more gaming related news. This is LKM signing out, stay tuned in, and stay classy everyone, bye bye.